So I had the most amazing, great weekend. The blinking, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Just to warn you, this is probably going to be a very long video. And I, because the reason is I have to explain a few things before the video makes any sense. First off, my friend Aaron, who is from Chicago, is coming in to town. And that is the tradition of all my friends who come into town. They come to town and without telling me the flight number, the date, the time, the uh, airport, the, the airline. Um, so the day of, I figured that I have to go to uh, LAX at some time or some airline <laughs> and so I aimlessly wander after work to LAX. The thing is that Aaron had his flight canceled earlier in the day so uh, seeing as he was coming from Chicago O'Hare Airport and that airport being probably the most notorious in the world for being late I was expecting him to be in late. He said eight 30-ish, and I was expecting like 9-ish, and I was right, like 9-30-ish. So, I pick him up, and I bring him to Ian Crossland's house. And this is the first time I've actually talked to Ian. I met him at gatherings, said hello, um, how are you, kind of things. And a lot of people think he's insane. And I found out he's not. <laughs> he's just really, really intense and into things. He's no more insane than my older brother, which is perfectly fine and legitimate with me. And the reason I say this is because I talked to Ian for about four hours about philosophy, and it was just it was so amazing. I've never connected with anyone intellectually that way and was able to talk to them without yelling or screaming, talking about politics or something, trying to one-up them, trying to make them feel stupid. But this was not the case. It was great. It was wonderful. It was transformative. And I just feel <laughs> like this weight that has been on me for months because I could not talk to anyone about philosophy was taken just lifted it uplifted me it was like going to church or something like that it, not that i'm calling ian god or anything but it was the most amazing kind of conversation that i ever had with anyone for a long time without arguing with them without bickering without trying to one-up them without trying to educate without trying to make them feel stupid it was great wonderful. I wish I had time to do this with more people. I wish I had time. So Aaron, I have to thank you and I have to th thank you Ian uh, for providing a night full of just very intellectual and intelligent interesting conversation. I can't thank you enough. It just it brought it took a lot of things off of my chest and we talked about how I should talk about philosophy. I'm not sure that most of my uh, viewers would really appreciate me talking about philosophy and ontologies and dialectics and uh, the consciousness of human thought and social ideas, sociology, uh, the learning of cultures. I'm just not. I'm not sure that my subscribers would necessarily want that. But if you want me to make a video about it, I will. And it was, it was so relieving. You can't imagine how, I don't know how the, what the word is, trapped, I felt. Trapped and uh, just, I couldn't talk to anyone about it. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So Aaron comes into town and we had a great time too. He's talking about shit. He loves how the different things in Southern California are as compared to the Midwest. Um, the radio station. He loves our radio stations. And I'm like, oh, I hate our radio station. It plays the same thing over and over again. But he loves our radio station because we can play like you know the pot song on the radio, or we can play many different things. And he just he can't get that in Illinois. 
and we went to the YouTube gathering, which thank you, Todd Lee, for, uh, for for taking the reins of the YouTube gathering. It was fun. It was fun because I don't actually like the humongous YouTube gatherings because it's hard to actually talk to every single person. I try to get them to go there, but there's always inevitably people who are standing there and staring. Hi, Michelle, if you're watching. I don't remember your friend's name, so hi, Michelle's friend who was also staring at everyone. Come back to the gathering in January. I also went with Aaron, who, if you want to know his screen name is Iraq is Whack, I'll put it on the information over there. And we watched at the Arclight um, Religious. I love the Arclight Theater because it's probably like the nicest theater in uh, Los Angeles area. It's expensive. It's fourteen fifty, but you can get reserved seats. The seats are wonderful. And your back doesn't hurt after you sat in there. Amoeba Records, and then we just I just dropped off Aaron back at his house. But it was an amazing weekend. And I got to see my friends again, I got to see my YouTube friends, and it was wonderful. So thank you. This is <laughs> this is the best weekend I've had in a long time, and I've had I have a headache and everything, but it's still the best weekend I've had in a long, long, long time. <laughs> I hope to have more. <laughs> it's Ryan the Tales End signing off. Bye bye.